How to remove Spyware Guard 2009, also known as Spyware Guard 2008. This will work for the, both of those programs and any other programs which happens to give you false results after completing a, a scan on your computer. Um, so, what you want to do is go to malwarebytes.org. Malwarebytes.org. Malwarebytes.org right here. You want to come down here and you want to click download now. Come back up here and click download now again. Come here and save the file. Save it to desktop. Clean up. Exit out of that. And then it's going to come on your desktop or wherever you saved it at. And you want to install that. Now once you get to the end of the setup, it will ask you uh, to launch it and to update it. You two places for the check mark. Make sure those are checked. Click finish. Open up Malwarebytes and that malware. Once it comes up, um, you want to go to the scanner tab and each time you use it you want to make sure you check for updates by going to the update tab and hitting check for updates the button so uh, so once you come here you want to perform a quick scan then you want to come down here and click scan the scans can take a while so uh, I would recommend starting it and maybe doing something coming back to check on it but um once it comes up it'll ask you to remove those program the program it will come up as a rogue program and you just want to remove all those now I might ask you to reboot uh, restart your computer to clean up the process the removal process um do that and if you continue to see symptoms of the program on your PC um you want to do a full scan instead of the quick scan it will scan your whole computer and take a lot longer than the f quick scan so just keep that in mind um and that should remove the programs the uh, whichever one you got uh the Spyware Guard 2008 or Spyware Guard 2009. Now, um, once you've done this, I would recommend getting Super Anti Spyware from superantispyware.com. Click download now. And you want to scroll down and click download the f free version home users. And it'll come up to download it and you want to hit save file again like before and uh, save it to wherever it'll come up like this hit remove exit out there alright so here's your super anti spyware setup you want to install it okay once it installs open it up if it doesn't already open it up at the end of it and it'll look like this. Um, you want to come down here, click check for updates, and then you want to come up here and click scan your computer. And you'll have a few options here. I would just do a quick scan, it will find cookies and any advertising stuff. Uh, anything that's been put on your computers this is a really good program to have and then you come down to the bottom and you click next and let it scan it scans registry files too uh, it's a nice program to have too but um also here is something I recommend downloading it's called ATF cleaner um 
works on XP, Vista, and uh, Windows 2000. Um, on the Vista one, you're gonna have to run it as administrator. Just uh, to get this, go to Google and type in ATF Cleaner, and it'll come up with the link to where to go download it. Um, actually, I'm gonna put the link in the description so you don't have to do that part. But that's how I um, came across. That's how I got it. But um, if you use Firefox, you can go to the Firefox thing and hit Select All. And then hit empty selected. This is this is a good th tool to have right here, good program. But um, so you want to come down here. You want to go to the main, which is gonna open up to the main. If you did the Firefox thing, you want to come back to the main. But um, so you want to hit select all. You want to hit empty selected. This is clean out your temp cookies. Temp, prefetch, Java catch, recycling bin, all that stuff, cookies. This is a good program to have. Now, also, I recommend downloading CCleaner from CCleaner.com. Uh, just download it, install it, make sure you do a custom install. Do not install the Yahoo toolbar. Uh, you don't need all them toolbars on a web browser. If you have my web search uh, toolbar um, I recommend going on your program files add remove program add remove list and remove it my web search is just a back way to get into your computer and my web search is not that good anyway so yeah but open it up and it's gonna come up like this and go to registry alright and you want to click scan for issues. Now it's going to come up in this over here where it says problem data registry key. So your problems are going to come up right, right here. Um, it's going to ask you do you want to back up your registry. I recommend backing it up um, just in case something goes wrong. Some people say don't do it. But registry is the main part of a computer. If you delete something that's part of it, uh, your PC may not run. So... And then it's gonna, you wanna fix selected issues. And you wanna click that button. And then that's when it's gonna ask you do you want to back up your registry files? And then you wanna click fix all selected issues. And I would do this until nothing shows up right here on the screen over here. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye.